Russia's contribution to the fifth generation of air combat superfighters moved ahead tangibly in early December with the successful flight of the first Sukhoi Su-57 using its new, upgraded as Delia 30 turbofan engine. The first successful test flight with an Su-57 using the new as Delia 30 took place on December 5, 2017. The 17-minute test flight by Sukhoi chief test pilot Sergei Bogdan was launched from the MM Gromov Flight Test Center, in Zhukovsky, Russia about 25 miles outside of Moscow. The new engine replaces the former NPO Saturn as Delia 117, also referred to as the AL-41 F1. These original as Delia 117s were reported to be underpowered for the Su-57's 55,116 pound reported takeoff weight. The ISD A117 was never meant as a permanent power plant for the Su-57 and its use drew criticism, some of it unwarranted, from Western analysts. The new ISD A30 engines increased the Su-57 thrust to 11,000 kg without afterburner and 19,000 kg in afterburner according to reports. The engines also have fewer components and resulting lower maintenance costs and reduced maintenance schedule. The engine is claimed to have better fuel economy. As with most modern Russian fighters, the Izdali A30 is a thrust vectored engine and has super cruise capability, enabling the Su-57 to fly at supersonic speeds without afterburner achieving longer range and better fuel economy at high speeds. Claims for higher efficiency published by subject matter expert Pyotr Bukowski suggest the new engines are 17-18% to 18 more efficient than the older 117 engines. As Bukowski pointed out in his recently updated reference book on Russian aircraft, Russia's Warplanes, Volume 1, there was no definition offered for the what the specifics of more efficient meant in terms of performance. One area many analysts have missed in terms of advantages for the Su-57 is cost. The price tag of an Su-57 is quoted as approximately 54 million US dollars. If accurate, those costs are roughly one-third to one-half the cost of the two operational US fifth-generation fighters, the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. Perhaps even more significantly, the Su-57 is also half the cost of China's unusual-looking J-20 Mighty Dragon 5th General Fighter. China is also testing the J-31 Jur Falcon, a 5th generation aircraft more intended for export than the Chinese Point Defense J-20. Oddly, there do not appear to be any accurate published estimates of cost for the J-31, likely due in part to the degree of Chinese state subsidy of the program for any prospective buyers, a number influenced heavily by diplomatic and commercial relationships with China. There has been a consistent populist trend of bashing or somehow diminishing the capability and progress of the Su-57 PAC-FA program in Western media. Most Western criticism of the Su-57 program has been centered on the logistics of the program and its lack of commercial export success. While those factors are real, they missed the key insight that the Su-57 could emerge as a highly capable Gen 5 fighter platform at a third the cost of its contemporaries. This lower cost business model for Su-57 could facilitate the historical Russian penchant for subverting quality to quantity on the battlefield. Not to suggest that the Su-57 is somehow inferior to other fifth-gen aircraft, it may not be, but if the financial capability to field twice as many Su-57s as F-35s exists, this numerical superiority represents an interesting strategic argument for the new Russian combat aircraft.